this is Abba Trombo, and welcome to a complete guide on wording. I just want to start off with the wording button. It's number four. I'm going to mention this not because it's completely obvious or completely painfully obvious, but because most people don't do it. You'll want to place three, and this will have a maximum of two charges. You'll start with one, of course. You can have three plus this thing called a pink ward. Ooh. Instead of this being invisible, it has four hit points. It used to have five, but now it's four. And you can only have two in your inventory, but it allows you to see invisible things. This little ring, this is the area you can place it, but the other kind of outlined one, so you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to see, I can't point to it, is its vision range. If it's in a bush, it's not as the range is reduced, but you can see inside the bush. Now if you were to place a ward here, whenever your opponent goes in here to avoid minion aggro, they have vision so they'll still take it. In general, knowing where your opponent is is good, but you don't always want to let them know you know where they're at. So you can use this, they're hiding in the bush, they're low, they're going to recall, well you know you're there. You can, you know, maybe Caitlyn ult or jump in and gank him. Right. Important spot toward for bot lane is right here. Because the jungler loves to hide in here. Another spot is right there in the tri bush. And then when you fall. If you break this tower, make sure to ward that because that's another common ganking spot. Other spots to ward are around your blue buff or your red buff. Around Baron for the later game. Not as important. Even though you might have Scuttle Crab, you don't have Vision of this pit, so make sure to ward in here to make sure uh, the enemy, you know if the enemy team is taking Dragon or not and you can respond. If you're taking Dragon, somewhere along these three points will help so you know if they're going to try and jump in or not. You can always take out the birds right here with a smite and you can use that to clean outwards for a vision battle. Otherwise, you can get a sweeping lens. If you switch to us uh, between trinkets, there is a 120 second cooldown. And you can upgrade it. And this allows you to move and see things. This is just stationary. Keep uh, the far sight. I recommend getting it. Even though it's not invisible and it only has one hit point so it's easily taken out, you have more vision and there's a shorter cooldown. Oh no, no, there's a longer cooldown. But it's just better. You see higher level play use it, so probably smart to use it. Yeah. It's all the Angry Birds. These little monsters down here, they walk to and fro down river. When you take them out, you get vision. But there's another important thing. You do get health from them. You don't need to necessarily wait for your jungler to get it. You can get it yourself. Uh, for top lane, make sure to ward over here and here just like in bot lane. This is a pretty common area to be ganked from. Otherwise, sometimes they'll come out of that tri bush. In mid lane, ward either of these two bushes and make sure to hug that side because it's if the jungler walks in, you know where they're going to be at. And if you're on this side, you don't necessarily going to be in, and it's easier to jump you. Want to see a hat trick? You also do get a small movement speed with the shuttle speed. Shuttle speed with the scuttle crab, and it leaves the moment you leave with a short burst duration. Not much, but nonetheless, it helps. Another thing: this isn't necessarily about warding. Not by a long when you're in vi within range, turrets can see invisible things. So if you're Kha'Zix and you're ulting, you can still get targeted by the turret. And that covers just about everything in warding. Thank you for watching a tutorial on how to ward, aka how to not bronze.